I spent most of my life behind bars. It's easy enough to bust out. You just gotta wait for that golden opportunity. When I got my powers, hell, I was unstoppable. Until the DUP caught up. Yeah, they got a special hole they like to toss folks like me in. Figured out a way to bind us all up so we couldn't use our powers. That also meant they had to feed us, wash us, even wipe our goddamn asses. That's no way for a man to live. There's no way. They had this red-headed bitch there, really into needles and scalpels. She called what she did to me tests. But if you do enough time, you just gotta be patient. Sooner or later, they'll screw up. They always do. You maybe see something or you hear something, learn things you weren't supposed to know. So when that bitch put the three of us in that wagon, I knew what was coming. A golden opportunity. around inside my head. It was me, I thought that was you. You saw it, right? That DUP prison. If she catches you, that's where you're going. Wait, wait, wait! I'm warning you, kid. Back off! Hey, me back there, uh, fuck off. I'm not going anywhere until you fix this! Listen, I don't know what happened, but you better be ready to disappear. Why? You're a conduit now, kid. A bioterrorist. Welcome to the world of run for your life. And that's what I aim to do, even if I gotta go through you. I'm not going anywhere until you fix this. This ain't something that can be fixed. Then at least show me how to control it. Ain't got time. Day you face coming. And she knows I'm on to her plan. Fucking just go die. Two, three minutes diversion tops. I gotta get now. Ain't going back to Curtin K. Yeah, well, whoever's coming is coming for you, man, not me. You've been seen, son. Folks here know about you. And she's got a way of making people talk. Good luck, kid. Oh, hell no. No way, I'm gonna die in a fish guttery. Listen, let me go. Just let me walk away. Nobody's ever gotta know about any of this. Wait a minute, stop it, talk about this! Oh, Henry. I'm so very disappointed in you. Well, we got him, right? I, uh... Bless that mean old conduit for you. Good job, everybody. Especially you, guys. Bioterrorist. Henry Daughtry. I was a bioterrorist. Conduit. It's a word used by traitors who sympathize with their cause. You're not a traitor. Are you? No. I try not to be. <laughs> you seem nervous. No, I'm not nervous. <laughs> It's been my experience. There are only two reasons for people to be nervous. Either they're cowards. Coward. Something to hide. I'm so coward. I also get nervous around pretty girls. You were in there with that bioterrorist for some time. Did he share anything with you? Uh, yeah. He called you a redhead bitch. Did he say anything to you? Did yeah. You Ramblings about conspiracies. Oh, um, no, he didn't. He didn't share anything. Good. That's good to hear. You see, we are engaged in a life and death war with these bioterrorists, and it's my job to do whatever it takes to ensure that we win that war. That's kind of funny because 
Aren't you a bioterrorist too? Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, I am. Sometimes you have to fight fire. And it's clear now that you're not a coward, which means there's something that you're not telling me. What are, you, what are you doing? You can't do this, you crazy! I've got rights! And I have the legal authority to suspend those rights whenever I feel it's necessary. Like now, for instance, I'll ask again. What happened in there? And I will tell you again. God! <laughs> I'm told that hurts. Yes. Don't do it again. Maybe I know what happened no, there. No, Betty, no. Really? Still nothing. Well, unless you decide that you do have something to tell me, I'll go chat with that nice old lady. But you should know, concrete is especially hard on brittle bones. And if she doesn't talk, I'll just move on to the next one, and the next, until I find someone who does. So do you have something you want to tell me? Or do you prefer that I move on to your friends here? Oh, shit. Putting others in danger to save yourself. Okay. Risking your freedom to protect Betty. I think we're gonna go. Oh, I don't know. Um. What? I said I'm a conduit, all right? I caught it a second ago from from that guy. Oh, you caught it. Very funny. Ah! God! Telson! Ah! So, Betty, maybe you can give me a straight answer. Yeah, I'm told that hurts. Bitch. I don't know. How long have I been out? I say two weeks. Oh my God, how could anyone do this? How many people did she hurt? Could stop her. Oh my God, Betty. Delson, dear, you're awake. So did Augustine do this to you? Yeah. Don't you think I was gonna rat you out to that ornery trot? Besides, at the time, it seemed like all the cool kids were getting their legs pierced. So it's everyone here. We're a Comish. We protect our own. No one here blames you for what happened. Neither should 
to go around killing people higgly piggly. You're a good boy. Just happen to have smoke coming out of your fingers. The only reason why we're in this is smoke coming out of my fingers. Hey. Don't go down that road. If you're gonna be such a buzzkill, I'm gonna have to go back to sleep. Because I need my rest so that I can get better and get on my feet again. And I can rest now because you're awake. You're going to be fine. Really? Nelson! <laughs> Damn it, I thought we were gonna lose you there. A little concrete in the legs? It's gonna take more than that. No. Glad to see fast healing seems to be a part of your new, uh, thing. Uh, speaking of which, uh, the craziness with the hands, is that gone? There's no smoking in the longhouse, remember? <laughs> right. And I wouldn't want to get in the way of anyone's recovery. Recovery? Delson, these, these people aren't getting any better. They're dying, man. You don't know that. No, but the doctors who came through here when you were out, they do. And they said that... They said the only way those shards are coming out is the exact same way they went in. What? Yeah, but that, that was Augustine and her concrete power. Screw it, man. Looks like you and me are going to Seattle and we're going to go get her. Whoa, 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 wait. What? You think you're just going to charm her into coming back here with you? <laughs> oh, man, I know you took a bump to the head, but you two didn't exactly hit it off last time you were together. I did this. And I got to fix it. No, damn it, Dustin, you just got back on your feet. I know you want to help, but the doctors have already said the only, the only way it's getting out is with the same power. I get it. Which means we don't actually need Augustine. We just need her power. <laughs> okay, now you've lost. I'm a goddamn power sponge, remember? If I got smoke, why can't I get concrete? <laughs> yeah, but what, what if smoke was just a fluke, huh? Think about it. You'd have to go through, uh, what, a thousand DUP guys just to get to her? Yeah, probably something like that. I'll explain in the truck. What truck? I don't have a truck. I... It's my truck. Huh? <laughs> Alright, I got this whole thing figured out. Okay? We, we hit the town. We load up at the all-you-can-leech condo at Power Buffet. Maybe swing by the space, Neil. Always wanted to see it. And then we're back home to save some lives. You do realize when we hit the town, there's a fair chance the town's gonna, you know, head back? What does that even mean? It means that Seattle has half a million people that aren't exactly thrilled about the bioterrorists that are already there. You think they're gonna welcome you? No, but I'm gonna be different, okay? Oh, I'm okay. not there doing what they do. I'm there to save lives. I'm gonna be like Superman. I'll be. Yeah. Healing the sick. The hero. Healing. What, you think they're going to throw you a parade? Yeah. Wake up. Look, don't worry, Bill, all right? We're going to fix this thing. I'll find you a cure. A cure? But shooting smoke out of your fingertips isn't exactly...